Roger, thank you. Continuing coverage now with that threat to schools in Wyndham and Raymond. In just about nine hours, 3,000 students in RSU 14 will return to school. Classes were canceled for three days due to some threatening emails. Today, police in Wyndham say they arrested a 16 year old boy in connection to those threatening emails. Investigators say he is a former RSU 14 student. The emails were sent to faculty. Officials say they're happy school will reopen. But we feel very fortunate that we were able to uh, bring this to a quick conclusion. Frankly, I wasn't certain it was going to go this quickly. It all came together, and thank goodness that we caught the person. The 16 year old is charged with eight counts of terrorizing, one for every school in that district. WMTW News 8's Courtney Sturgeon was at the Wyndham High School basketball game tonight. Courtney, what are students saying about heading back to school tonight? Well, David, tonight's game was the first time that students, faculty, and parents were all together in one place at a school function. And I spoke with many of those students and parents who say not only were they pleased with how the school handled the situation, they feel safe walking through these doors tomorrow. I'm glad to go back to school. It's, I like learning. I'm one of the, just glad I can get back. Wyndham sophomore Shane Donnelly is cheering on his classmates at tonight's game with a different perspective. Nice job, Kyle. It's definitely scary to know that someone threatened the school with a bomb or a gun or something. So it's just kind of just kind of a weird situation. That situation forced parents to think twice before sending their kids off to school. It makes you think of the what ifs. And probably procedural wise, not really anything different, but it makes you wonder. The Rolfs, like many RSU 14 parents, spent the week talking with their children about why classes were canceled. Makes me feel very safe. Um, I'm happy that Wyndham did what they did. Despite tense moments this week, fans of the Wyndham Eagles say they're comfortable with students returning back to school. We have a police presence full time there now, anyways, so I feel comfortable with what we have. and. The security system that they have has worked well, and they did an excellent job getting the kids to and from school. One thing parents and students will uh, see tomorrow as they prepare to return to school, an additional police presence here at the doors. It's in addition to the security here at the school to reassure parents, faculty, and staff as they return to classes. Live in Wyndham, I'm Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.